Now it's time for Jump In with Julius. Hey all you cool cotton catfish, it's me Julius with Milwaukee Riverkeeper. This week we'll be making rain barrels and learning about water collection. So let's roll out the barrel and jump right in. Did you know that if it rained just one inch across the city of Milwaukee and its surrounding suburbs, it would be equal to about 7.1 billion gallons of water. That's a lot of water. So where does it all go? Next time it rains, you can see where water flows. Some of it sinks into the ground to become groundwater, and some of it might flow into lakes and rivers, which is great. But with so much rainwater, there can also be problems. Since stormwater pipes and sewage pipes are connected in Milwaukee, having too much rain in the pipes can cause them to fill to the max and have the sewage overflow into our lakes or rivers. As well, since water is so powerful, it can carry tons of unwanted pollution to our rivers. That's why we need to think of solutions to make sure rainwater only does good things. One solution to this is to create a rain barrel. A rain barrel is simply a container that collects rain where it falls. A bucket could be a rain barrel if you put it under your downspout, the pipe that carries rainwater down from the roof. But the downside of the bucket is its open top means it's very exposed. Dirt could get in, sunlight could hit it and evaporate your water, algae could grow in it, and worst of all, mosquitoes could grow in the water, and nobody wants mosquitoes around their house. That's why our rain barrel will have a few extra parts. Here's what you need. You'll want to find one recycled plastic container. Extra large laundry detergent bottles make the perfect DIY rain barrels. The best containers will have a faucet, the tube for pouring out water, for filling water cans with ease. It's also helpful to have one with a refill cap, and we'll see why later. You'll also need scissors, a pencil, a block, paint of your choice, and paintbrushes. Here's what to do. First, clean your container. If you're using a detergent bottle, it should be thoroughly cleaned so your garden stays soap-free. Next, we'll paint it. Use your skills, creativity, style, and imagination to get inspiration on how to make your own unique design and paint it however you like. Have your parent or guardian help with this part to make sure the paint stays on. Painting tips for parents and guardians. Normal paint does not stick or stay well on plastic. Add an even layer of exterior primer paint and let dry overnight before painting. Now you can paint it with acrylic paint. Next, let's cut it. With a pencil, draw out a square where your downspout, the pipe that will carry rainwater from a roof to the ground, will go, making sure it's the size and shape of your rain gutter. With scissors, cut the square hole in the top of the container. Have a parent or guardian help with sharp objects. Next, we'll stand it up. Remove the cutaway plastic and place the end of the gutter into the hole. Mount your rain barrel on a cinder block or similarly sturdy item so you can easily fit a watering can under the spout. Now that it's finished, you just have to wait for the rain to fill up your rain barrel. Once that's done, you can finally use it. Place your watering can beneath the spout, press the button, and fill her up. You can use your rainwater to water your garden on dry days or to water any indoor plants. Not only does this help prevent pollution of our rivers and prevent flooding and sewage overflows, but it also saves money and water for the person who buys water for the house. Plus, conserving water is something we all should try to be better at since only 2% of all the water in the world is fresh water that humans can use. Tips and tricks for your rain barrel. If there is too much rain, the water will rise to the overflow and come out the top. Every once in a while, check your barrel to make sure it's not filled with leaves or dirt. Don't drink your water or use it for preparing food. Remove your barrel in the winter to keep it from freezing. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode. I can't wait to see some of the great rain barrels you all come up with. Here are some of the terms that we learned today that you can use when talking to others about rain barrels. Remember, take care of each other and our rivers, and I'll catch you next week on Jumbling with Julius.